Okay, Rene Christoph ask a question, and I don't know if I pronounced your name right, Rene, but she asked me a question, and I need to try to tie that question into the, the topic of this, of, of my channel, which is tinnitus. I guess someone told me I should call myself the tinnitus coach, so I guess that's who I am now. At least that's the per persona that I'm being <laughs> when I make these videos here. But she, her question was, could you please uh, explain to me your motivation for learning Chinese? So, okay, I can do that. Because my motivation for learning Chinese has changed a little since I had tinnitus. Uh, but originally, I started working at a Chinese dance studio. I, I teach ballroom dancing. It's always been a part-time job, but I was somewhat of a, prof a professional for a long time. And I guess I still am. So um, the Chinese dance studio had a lot of people who didn't speak English at all. So uh, they taught me a few words. Uh, one of them was like, honey, come over here. Ching ai da guo lai. And uh, I thought, wow, this is pretty powerful. I, I, can, I can say these words and a, and a girl comes over. <laughs> and that was kind of cool. And I learned a lot of other things. And it just kind of became a hobby of mine. And I never really learned a language before. Um, I tried to learn Spanish in school, and I had even tried a little Chinese before, but barely. And uh, I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn Chinese. Because I felt like, this is, this, this, I'll tie this in a little bit to tonight is here. I felt like I had, being a competitive dancer was something that maybe as I got older, I might not be able to compete at the level that I was before. So I should choose something else that I can get into and really devote myself to it and uh, do well with it. And so that's what I've done. And um, with tinnitus, uh, perhaps you've had some changes in your life because maybe some things that you felt very comfortable doing before are not, are not comfortable. I don't want to say that the things you did before you can't do now. That's not necessarily the right kind of thinking, but, but maybe this is a good opportunity to choose something that you, you really would like to get into and really do that well. And it can become so important to you, at least while you're doing it, that it's, that it's more important than the tinnitus. <laughs> and uh, actually, in the last two, um, 15 months or so since I had COVID and then tinnitus, I increased my Chinese lessons. I take Chinese lessons online. And uh, usually, gosh, recently, every day I'm taking like two hours, sometimes three hours of, of Chinese lessons online. And you know what I'm thinking about during that lesson? Chinese. <laughs> I'm not thinking about tinnitus. And um, before, I had some other problems too. My chest had these weird feelings and it was hard not to think about it. And, um, you know, now I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm in good health. But... Um, yeah, so this can be a great time to pick up a hobby. Pick up, you know, maybe learning a language. I, I don't know, know what you, to tell you to choose for yourself. But maybe you should write down a few things that you like or that you've always wanted to do. And maybe just narrow it down to something. Maybe down to a couple and say, you know what, I'm going to put, put some of my energy that I've been wasting worrying about the tinnitus into in this case, learning a language. And I'm going to learn, you know, th that language. It may take me one year, two years, five years, 10 years. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it every day, and I'm going to put it on my schedule. 30 minutes or one hour, I'm going to learn this language or whatever it is, play soccer or learn how to throw horseshoes. I, I don't know what you want to do. But you're going to do that thing and do it every day because it's proven. It's proven. If you, if you do something every day, you'll get better at it. So do you want to get better at worrying about tinnitus? <laughs> because if you do it every day and you, you keep it on your schedule all day, you know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> You're going to be really good at worrying about tinnitus. Uh, well, hopefully not. Hopefully there's other mechanisms that will also knock that down. And, and uh, one of them is that you're seeking to find a way out of the situation in your mind that, where you're occupied with this. So 
Yeah. So, but so so keep that in mind. If you want to improve something, then you need to do it every day, and it gets better. And one thing is to replace the worrying with some act, other activity, and you'll get better at replacing the worrying with that other activity or those other activities that you've written down on your to-do list because you can get where the other activities are more important than the, the tinnitus because you, you, you really work to do that. So practice, write it down, get it on your schedule, do it now, do something that's gonna, gonna put your focus on something else and just try your best. If you don't do well this time, try again. And if you feel like you keep failing, well, then fail some more, but keep trying. <laughs> and if that's not working, find another activity and, and fail at that until you find something that's working really nice for you. And you know what? A few months from now, a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, you're going to come back and tell me, I got really good at that because I did it every day. And, I got, and, I, and I'm really happy that I chose to do that, right? So, so why don't you take this tinnitus, this problem that's been, that you've probably been obsessing about too much, and you know what? Let's flip that. You're going to be obsessed with finding the way to get into something and do it super good. Right? So that's <laughs> why I learned Chinese. <laughs> oh, Renee. Oh, you still there? Um, looking at your name. I think you speak another language. I'm going to guess Portuguese. But that X that starts with your last, the, the first letter of your last name, that throws, I'm not sure uh, what language you might speak. So could you please tell me? That was the question I had for you. And do you speak? Uh, what, what languages do you speak, Renee? Okay, that's, that's my question for you. Okay, I'll see you. Bye-bye.